Then we'll come to the end, which will be the concluding paragraph. Now the concluding paragraph is also very important because it will again restate your main argument. And now you'll say that because of all the things I've said, the thing I said at the very beginning, my argument is for sure correct. So you begin paragraph one with your argument and in the last paragraph, your concluding paragraph, you kind of repeat that again. So some of the phrases that are very common you've seen many times will be words like this, above all, certainly, for this purpose, in fact, in truth, indeed, surely, to this end, with this in mind, with this purpose in mind. Because those things I just said up top, I am now saying that they all support my main idea. So, you've got your first paragraph and this is going to be your main point, your main idea, your main argument. I am right, this is my idea. And then your last paragraph is going to again assert this, right? You're going to do this again, but because of all these paragraphs in here, you're going to say because of all of these, basically so, this main idea is right. I am right. My main argument is correct. An argumentation essay is not an easy thing to write because as I say, the other person doesn't see you. You cannot argue with them. You need to make your argument very strong and clear. When I read your argumentation essay, I should feel, hmm, that makes sense, and I think I can agree with you. Or maybe I don't agree with you, but the argument you make is clear and does seem to make some kind of sense. Okay, let's look at our assignment for this. And for our assignment, we're going to be looking at our ebook on page 68. On page 68, we have an QEC assignment. So use your QEC software. And we're going to write 100 words in the whole essay. 100 words. Not a lot of words, but it's good for practicing. 100 words. 100. So don't forget your QEC can help you while you're using it online. You can use the help along the side to get example sentences and example phrases. What I'd like you to do is write an argumentation essay for one of these topics. You can choose any of these here, one to six. Choose one. Just choose one of those and make an argument. So for example, the first one is alcohol should be illegal. Now, you maybe believe that or maybe you don't believe that. It doesn't matter if you don't believe it. In fact, one way to practice writing an argumentation essay is to choose things you don't actually believe, but you can practice making the argument. So alcohol should be illegal. You should write an essay why that is true, and you should state clearly it should be illegal at the very beginning. Don't write your essay arguing both sides. Don't write your essay saying, well, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. No, you need to be very clear. This is your argument. So for number one, it would be alcohol should be illegal because it causes all these problems and something, something. And then paragraph two, paragraph three, paragraph four. Give me information. People die from driving when they're drunk. People become ill. It costs society so much money. So that's the way to do it. You, maybe you don't believe it, but that's the way you approach it. There are other topics you can choose. Choose one of these. Dieting does more harm than good, maybe. A college education needs to be about preparing for the work world. So this is more about education. Choose one of those 100 words. Don't be shy. Make your argument strong. Good luck.